In today's model, I'm going to be taking a simple barrier or wall, or you could pretend it's a dam if you'd like, and applying a simple hydrostatic load. So that's varying the pressure from a minimal at the highest point down to a maximum at the lowest point, which simulates the effect of having you know, a fluid inside a container or a fluid up against a wall. We'll start off by drawing our geometry. So I'm going to go into parts. It's a 3D deformable solid. And just going to draw a rectangle like that. And whatever depth that assigns is fine for this demonstration. The important thing to consider with hydrostatic loading is that the hydrostatic loading will vary in the z direction only so you have to make sure that your model is orientated so that you want the lower pressure on top and the higher pressure on the bottom so positive z is up this way and negative z is down here so we've created the geometry we just have to apply simple material properties So whatever you'd like, create the section and assign the section to the part. And then just assemble that instance and um, okay, the boundary addition. It, boundary condition that I'm going to apply will be just a simple encastre and it'll be on the bottom surface here so just holding that in position now the bit that we have to do is apply the hydrostatic loading bearing in mind that the z-direction has to be upwards so go into loads. Oh, sorry, I have to create a step first. Go into loads. It's a pressure. Okay, and we select this surface. And the distribution, change it from uniform to hydrostatic. The magnitude, you figure that out. That's just, you know, the pressure equals rho, mu, h, all multiplied by one another. So I'm just going to give it a random magnitude there. Okay, so the zero pressure height. So you have to figure out what the z-coordinate is. In my model, I'm going to pretend that the water goes up to the very top and right down to the very bottom here. Um, so I'm just going to get the z-coordinate for the top point. So tools, query, pointer node, and I'm going to select this. And I'm going to select the lowest point as well. So we can see here, down in the bottom, the z-coordinate for the top point is 20, and the z-coordinate for the bottom point is 0. Done. Okay, so we're back in here. So the zero pressure height is 20 so that's the height at which the water level is at uh, so theoretically the pressure is zero there and then the reference pressure height um, that's just whatever height that that particular magnitude is at I've calculated the magnitude there as being the maximum pressure so that would be at the very lowest point so the reference pressure height is zero I find that's the easiest way to do it if you just keep the reference point as being the lowest point and just calculate the magnitude there. Now we just have to seed the model. And mesh. Create the job and run it. So if the job has finished running, we'll just go in and look at the results. And we can see, as expected, 
that the pressure increased going from the top down to the bottom there uh, there's three orders of magnitude difference so that was just a quick example of how to carry out hydrostatic loading in Abacus